playing yesterday's game. Listen, I'd like to say that I start my day with yoga or a two mile run, but uh, no, I am only that disciplined in my dreams or maybe January 2nd, pretty much any year. But I do, however, wake up my brain every day with the New York Times app, Wordle, the crossword, and something called Spelling Bee. Now, in Spelling Bee, you try to form as many words as you can using only the seven letters provided each day. It's kind of fun, and you can leave it and come back with a new perspective if you feel like it, and nobody posts their results on Facebook, so a triple win. Well, one thing I also used to love about this is that you couldn't go back to yesterday's game once your new one had posted. Your only choice was to view yesterday's answers and see how many words you missed or sometimes never even heard of. I really like that. There was no option to keep playing. Yesterday was done. Time to move on. And then they changed the app. Now you can keep playing old games if you haven't clicked on reveal. No, don't tempt me to go back to yesterday. Suddenly I had to click twice to let go of the past. Play yesterday's game, reveal, are you sure? Ugh, yes but too many clicks and I would begin to doubt my happy decision to move on from yesterday. Well, I guess I wasn't the only one because within a week, the app had been revised to make it easier and quicker to reveal the answers from the past. Still, I kind of resent having to confirm that I'm moving on to today. Thank you very much. Today's mistakes, missed opportunities to find words and be the queen bee, gone. Move on. And so it is in life. Are you still playing yesterday's game? Have you ever gone back to an old job, a past love, the city you used to live in and realized it no longer was today's game? It feels wrong. It's time to let go. Yeah, been there, done that, moving on. Here's your action step. Take a good look at something that you're holding on to and ask the hard question. Is this right for me today, now, at this point in my life? Maybe the answer is yes. Maybe you've changed or the situation is better or you weren't really done after all, like maybe Carrie and Aiden in and just like that. Or maybe not. Notice how it feels to go back to yesterday and revisit the challenges you thought you were done with. Resources, if you want to go deeper, I like the power of now, Eckhart Tolle. How about Throw Out 50 Things, an Oldie But a Goodie by Gail Blank. And ending, as always, with this spark with a kick-ass quote, to let yourself fly, you gotta let go. Play today's game.